What's up guys, Eric 742 with Eric's RC channel. Today I'm going to show you how to calibrate your IMAX B6, um, whether it's the AC or just the regular B6. This one happens to be a knockoff, um, and it should work with the, the genuine models as well. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the voltages on two separate batteries, one charged after calibration and one charged before calibration. I don't know which one's which. Uh, okay, so this one 12.44 volts was charged before calibration and this is a very accurate meter this one was charged after calibration and it charged to 12.59 now that's much closer to 12.6 and I probably could have got it to land right on 12.6 so here's the process for it <coughs> I'm gonna go ahead and show you with a non-calibrated battery and I will have to delete my settings out here back to zero to show you exactly um, what I mean. So first thing you're going to hold a uh, decrease and start at the same time after you've had your IMAX powered off for a little while. I'm just going to plug my IMAX in. You hear a few beeps and that means it's going into calibration mode. Hold on to the buttons. Now you can let go. You can see negative 19 here. That's how I was calibrating my voltage. Don't worry about this going up and down. I'll uh, put it back to zero. How it was. All right. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna plug in your battery and it's gonna try to read the voltage. saying 12.52 on that one let me check again to see if this was the uh... okay this is the one that was not charged during calibration so what we're gonna do we know it's 12.44 is the actual so this little indicator here, you can decrease until you get on to 12.44 or at least as close as you can. That's maxed out. Okay, 12.43 it's reading. That's negative 20. That's as high as you, that's as much as you can calibrate, plus or minus 20. 12.43. If we go 12. Point, uh, negative 19, it goes to 12.44. That's exactly correct. You're gonna hit start. and it should be calibrated now alright so now we're going to test out how to charge this and see what it says now so this is the battery that was 12.44 volts fully charged it said 12.6 on here before alright and it's showing higher voltage here because it's it's uh, pushing a lot of voltage in so once this is done charging it should end up just like this one at about 12.59 12.6 volts which I think is as close as I can get with this cheap charger um, other than that what I was gonna tell you was a tip for now this will not work in balance mode say you go out of this and go to balance the balance is still gonna be off I mean it, it won't balance them correctly so what you can do is you can run it in balance mode until it's done. And then if you want to um, finish the charge, since it won't be at full voltage because it's in balance, you can unplug the balance cord from the port, go back to, wait, go back to uh, charge and just plug in the main power cord and then charge it at a very low amperage like say uh, 0.2 amps to 0.5 amps in that range and then uh, since you're charging it so slowly it won't be balancing it but the cells will balance themselves uh, somewhat so you can get up to the 12.6 volts and then it will balance the cells since you're charging it so slowly the power will spread between the cells um, and that's about it guys. So this is a pretty quick, uh, easy way, uh, to calibrate your 
IMAX B6 or B6AC, a uh, genuine or a knockoff, I believe. And once again, this is the voltage that was charged before calibration. See, it already went up some, even with that little tiny charge. And this is the voltage after calibration. It was actually 12.6 a little while ago. So that's pretty nice. Subscribe if you haven't, guys, and take care. And I wish everyone a happy new year. And I'll see you around. Bye.